Hello. F- uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Hello, friends. I'm Kyle. I'm Leanne. And today we're going to be playing a new indie game called Sunset. It came out on Steam last week, and it's. I'm really intrigued by it. I don't know a whole lot, but basically the premise for the story is you're. Um, you play as a woman who just moved to this Latin American country, and you're working as a housekeeper for this wealthy man. And every day you clean this house for an hour, and basically the story progresses as you learn more about him each day that you go and clean this house. And it's set against the backdrop of a revolution brewing. And it sounded like an awesome premise, so let's get started. This is the 70s. Yeah, this is 1972. Okay. What are the chores for today? Clean floors, move boxes, open pots. Mm-hmm. If you actually want to read the lines, I'd be cool with that. <laughs> People get mad at me when I do that. <laughs> well, here it's fine because there are. Open lines. Those are not lines, Leanne. Mm-hmm. The skyline hasn't changed much. The, hasn't changed the much. silhouette's still the same so far. But the city has a new energy. And I can feel that deep down. The industrial quickening of war. People organized by hierarchy. Aimed at each other with purpose. Instead of breathing and flowing through one another like a city's supposed to feel. That's the gentleman moving into this swanky apartment. Wonder what he's like. Sweet. Got to find what to pull the floors with. And you could sneak some more too. Yeah, I want to find out about this guy. I'm not gonna install your speakers, man. Let's get a music background, possibly. Really? Do that. Do that wonder. Well. I'm gathering. I'm not saying that's definitely gonna. Mm-hmm. There are more speakers on the other side, I'm pretty sure. You don't have to have a stereo yet. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just expect everything to magically happen. There's but, another but, box that looks similar over there. That is usually what happens. You got to set the stereo, and then you can get some music. Oh, no. <laughs> you can't. Secret room. It's a sex function. Oh Steel. god. I'm not sure I want to learn those kinds of secrets. That's the whole game. Find the sex The guest dressing room? Well, you can't expect the guest to dress without their own dressing room, can you? Dear Lord, this is so ridiculously ordained. Oh, the jumpsuit. The guest shower. Who has a guest shower that looks this nice? I have seen them. It'd be funny if like the guest shower was nicer than his own shower just so he could impress people. I do I the game offered some background on the main Is character. Oh okay. yeah. Like she graduated from college with an engineering degree. I wonder why like she chose to move here. Like she, she's from Baltimore. It's interesting because like a lot of times, like you hear about um, people who immigrate to the U.S. So, like they have, they like work as doctors or engineers, and like from the U.S. they have to work as hairdressers or maids because they just don't, they don't, the degrees just not valued here. Yeah, and it's like the opposite of yeah. moving out. Probably, probably okay with not having this kind of fashion come back. It has come back. Ha- there are people who wear jumpsuits. I, I mean, like, I wear rompers. I don't, I'm not as into the jumpsuit thing personally. I think there are people who pull it off. But I, I like rompers. I like, yeah, I do like overall. It's like jumpsuit. Family. There's a plane. The new tenant wants me to clean once a week while he's out. An hour before sunset. We may never even meet face to face. Which suits me fine. There's a kind of peace 
slipping into this role, coming in during the off hours to restore things, wiping away the grime. I'm just another set of hands. Yes. Yeah, let's play some music. No. It's not a door. It's a door, but you can't go through it. It keeps me up at night, wondering if this is some kind of destiny. I moved halfway around the world to end up as a housekeeper? I could have done that back home. Most people in Baltimore can't imagine a black woman as anything else. I left the U.S. to get away from that jaundice perspective, from stupidity and hate. And here I am, trapped in a country going to shit, cleaning this man's house. Hmm. <laughs> the dress woman. Right? I'm sure. You know, these are assumptions we're making about this man. Some little it's, it's assumptions our character is making about her, the man, that we are agreeing with. I'm not saying I'm. What, what if he has no interest in you to anything? Think about that? Good point. Yeah. That is possible. Ortega has more books than furniture. Like he's building up bunker walls made of precious words. You can feel the depression in this place. How am I supposed to scrub that out? Ooh. Senor Ortega might be wealthy, but there's not much left to spend his money on. The music sounds very national anthem. Mm -hmm. Ooh, newspaper. So. The museum, opera, and school of something are all closed. School of art. School of arts, you think? No, if it's a museum and opera, it yeah. makes sense. Beautiful, fine art, fine art. No, it's not. There haven't been any operas since the coup, so there was a coup in this country. Sticks to like, 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 like it puts it in in Spanish because they're in a Spanish country. Mira Flores. Maybe that's the president or the party. Press. Look at flowers, right? Yeah, that that is right, Leanne. Mm -hmm. What the? F oh, it's the letter. Place it down. Can you see? Hmm. What does it say? Generalismo uh, Ricardo Miraflores. Okay, so Miraflores is the the military dictator, I'm guessing, since there was a coup. Um, but I'm guessing Mr. Ortega doesn't like him too much since the invitation is torn. Mm -hmm. Ortega could have joined his friends across the border in Campo de Irmas rationalizing away his concerns about the new regime and continuing along in comfort. But he didn't. He refused, and it's going to cost him. Maybe Gabriel Ortega has a heart. I guess he's against the regime? The new regime? That's, that's interesting because like saying the United States is supporting the new entry in government and the US did back a lot of like military coups in, oh, yeah. in Latin America oh, in the 70s so and 80s. There was another explosion last week. 
The tension is hard to stomach. Even when the sirens aren't going off, it feels like everyone in the city is grinding their teeth as hard as they can. No one is safe from the patrols. We're all under suspicion. Often I get stopped and questioned. I've been so proud of my activism, of my political convictions. But under the new regime, those beliefs put me at risk. As soon as I say, housekeeper, their eyes glaze over. One of the benefits of my position. It's in Spanish. No, it's just not legible. I don't even think we can move that. I'll I think that's what it means by offering your help to like translate out that you might not maybe doesn't speak Spanish. Although with any like you know, they don't feel like you would. Con confidential. Read the confidential part. Can you do it? Oh yeah, can I read that? No, I mean, like, maybe this one. Oh, just sign it with M. No, no, there's a little confidential thing right here. Yeah. No, behind there. Yeah, there's that one. That one, that's what I was going to say. It's one of the cover of the room. Oh, it's confidential. I got like an etcher. Mm. Oh. What am I saying? Not music for you. Well, that was Sunset. I hope you've enjoyed this taste of it. I'm very intrigued to learn more of where this yeah. revolution is going. Like, there's definitely like a lot of commentary in there from the developers. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I was really yeah, it's very like steeped in a lot of like historical stuff. Like this is not like this is not a real revolution that actually happened, but it's very like there are lots of stuff like this that actually did. I'm very interested to see where the story is going. It's very slowly like revealing its hand. Well, see you around, friends. <laughs>